Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Last time we did a whole lot of talky 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 talk talk talky talk. All sorts of side quest shit. Now we're heading back to Balam to get our shit moving again. What? Self is feeling down right now. I thought I should let you know since you're kind of everybody's leader. I think you should go talk to her. I know you are a klutz when it comes to these things, so I'll back you, bruh. Where is she? She's hanging out by the stage, at the, by the quad. To the quad, then! We shall go comfort selfie, because that is what we are very good at, right? Squall is like the oh-so-most comfortest person there is in this world, like totally. He should be a fucking suicide counselor. Wow! Wow what? I didn't expect all this heavy machinery. How else are they going to repair it? With hammers and nails, genius? Hey, 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 this isn't my department, okay? Then what is? Guns and women, of course. I'm a right Casanova, don't you know? Seriously. This is like the first time Squall's really conversed with just Irvine. Finally, a little bit of character development. Minus the part where we were sniping the sorcerers, of course. But that was pretty much like first mission status. Anyway, we're back in Willam Garden. Sweet. You know what's nice? Balam Garden music. I like it. I like it. I love it. I always want more of it. Alright, so, down to the quad we go! We don't even get the option of going up to the third floor. Because who wants to go talk to the headmaster right now? I know I don't. One thing we could, uh, actually, now I think about it, we might not be able to do it right now, uh, is to go try and play the stupid doctor as, who is supposed to be the card king. But, we'll try that again in a little bit. Soon enough, we'll have our free reign of the garden again, and we won't have any story-driven things. We'll be basically free-roaming. So, until that point... Let's just get these story things out of the way. This episode may just be all story. I'm not entirely sure how long this part takes. I can't remember. I do know that we're in for a little bit of a story thing today, so let's hope it doesn't take an entire half hour. If it does, so be it. To the quad! We've only been here once before during the whole madness bullshit. Oh, now that we crashed the stage. The stage! Oh man, she's gonna be even more depressed now. <sighs> this is so bad! Yeah, it's... Oh, wait, I'm sorry, this is Squall. <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy, with the guard moving and crashing into FH. A lot's happened. You know, I really wanted to see a band perform on this stage. I even had my eyes set on a few people, too. Oh, well. Cheer her up, dude. Come on, I'm sure you can still do something. Squall, being sensitive? That's weird. You're the last person I expected to cheer me up. I must be real. I must really look depressed. <laughs> That's the same thing they said to Squall earlier. What's so weird? I care just like everyone else. Even though you basically said you don't care earlier, you liar. It's just that I. There are too many things that I can't be helped. So why bother talking about everything? Because that's what people do, man. Oh, there you go again into your own little world, and you're not gonna share anything, huh? Yeah, whatever. Why is she teasing me? I was just trying to help. Well. I think I'm feeling better. Don't worry about me, Squall. Irvine, you help her. I'm out of here. Alrighty, bruh. Squall, this is the headmaster speaking. Please come to my office. What now? Ugh, Squall's like, fuck this. I guess there's no point feeling blue. That's right. Let's get the fun started. Fun? What fun? I'm so brilliant. So, like, first, we'll ask the FH technicians if they can fix the stage. If they can fix the garden, this should be a piece of cake for them. Hmm, do you think they'll do it? Don't worry, I'll back you. I'm sure they'll do it. Hey, that means... Yep, you can have your band perform on the stage. Woohoo! Alright, let's get the show on the road. Score, baby. I'll make all of all set to make my move. Damn, he's got his sights set on that yellow show show, if you know what I'm saying. That about covers my report, sir. I see. I also heard a report from Selfie just a moment ago. She said the diary is open to everyone to, f is open to, everyone to see. Maybe you should have a look. The diary? What diary? Oh, and one more thing. It appeared that the Galbadians were searching for Elone. They, that seemed to be their main objective, objective in FH. I believe that Sorceress Adea is behind all this. Alone has the ability to allow people to experience the past. 
Maybe the sorceress is after her for this ability. What other reason could there be? So now the Galbadians are working for the sorceress, and we're searching for a loan in FH. And regardless of whether they found her or not, they had orders to burn the city down. That would help reduce the number of potential places where she could hide. That's right. Most likely, the sorceress will not stop this onslaught until Elone is found. She will continue to hunt her and burn everything in her path. We can't wait any longer. So he's finally going official. About time. This is Headmaster Sid. I have an announcement to make. Uh-oh. Check this out. I have important news that I must share with all of you. The garden is being repaired right now. We'll leave FH immediately after it's finished. We're going on a journey. Zell's in line for hot dogs. Hope he doesn't miss out. This is a journey to defeat the sorceress. Garden will now be used as a mobile base. The administration of Garden will be run by myself and the staff as usual. Oh, Zell missed out on hot dogs again. This journey will involve many battles, and a well-qualified leader is needed for this. Okay. Therefore, I am appointing Squall as your new leader. Yeah, that's right. That's what he said. Squall. From now on, Squall will be your leader. He will decide our destination and battle plan. Wait, 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 wait. I control the garden. Are you serious right now? Everyone, please follow his orders. If there are any objections, please come see me in person. I don't even get a choice in this matter? Yeah, Squall. You're leading. Sucks to be you. Well, Squall, we're under your command from now on. Face palm, this is your fate. It is your destiny to lead the way in defeating the sorceress. And why is that? Oh god, Squall's pissed too. Don't talk about this like it's been decided since my birth. Jeez, Squall's so emo. I don't mind fighting the sorceress. It's unavoidable as long as I'm a seed member. What? Wait, as long as I'm a seed member? What if I quit? That quit? And then what? What do I have left? Don't even know what want to think about that. Just stop thinking. Just stab your brains out. I'll just have to do as I was told. Command the garden and kill the sorceress. How does Headmaster Sid expect me to take care of everyone? It'd be best to go fight the sorceress soon and end this nonsense. But isn't she the Headmaster's wife? He wants us to kill his wife? I guess he didn't say kill. He just said defeat. What does it feel like to give an order like that? It's a good question. We should go ask him. Hi, everyone. Here's our producer, Selfie. Ahem. <clears throat> we'll be holding the concert as planned. The performance isn't just for us, though. It's also for Squall. You know, to congratulate him on his recent promotion. Sounds fun. So who's going to perform? We are, der. Yeah, right. You're kidding. Oh, no way. You can count me out. I have no musical aptitude. Oh, really? I gotta see this. <laughs> Renoa's like, hell yeah. Let's give it a try. We have everything ready, and all we need is four people. This is gonna be fun. Oh, sorry, Renoa, but you're not gonna be a member. Oh, punk team. Or her, I mean. You're leaving me out? Uh-huh. We have something more important for you to do. Oh yeah, get that ass prettied up if you know what I'm saying. So what are we going to do? I mean, basically, we're all amateurs, right? Even if you hand us our instruments, uh, we won't be able to do anything. First, I want to ask you guys something. Okay, you know I took over this event after I transferred to Balam, right? I have the composition that the last producer recommended to me, but everything got all messed up after the garden started moving. There's supposed to be only four scores that go with the composition, but I got eight scores here. What does it mean? It's pretty simple. Four other scores from a different composition got mixed up with the four scores that Selfie had. So, we have to find the four original scores to perform the composition that Selfie has. Only way we're going to find them is to play all eight scores and see. So I want you guys to pick up an instrument, one person at a time, and play it. Irvine knows the composition, so he'll choose which four are the right ones. Let's get started. Okay, so this is a fun little side mini game type thing. I don't think it matters if you do this uh, wrong or right, really. I don't, not entirely certain. But if you want to pick the correct tune to play, oh, by the way, it doesn't matter who plays what instrument. I'm pretty sure. Let's start with Zell is gonna play 
the mother freaking guitar. Listen to him play the guitar. Damn, Zell, you're pretty good for somebody who doesn't know how to play. Anyway, that's the correct one, so let's just go tell him that that's good. Sounds good. Next! Now, there's actually two possible combinations here. The one I'm going to pick is, I don't know if it's the correct one or the other one, but it's one of them. It doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you pick one of them and have the right combination of four. Anyway, so Irvine is actually going to be our tap dancer. I always liked having be Irvine be the tap dancer in this part. Yeah, listen to that. That's some shit right there. Tap master. That sounds good. Next. Selfie, you're going to play the flute because that just seems appropriate for the little yellow petite girl, you know? Doesn't it? Doesn't that just look appropriate? I think it does. Such a catchy little tune she's playing there, too. I like it. I'm down with this. Next. Sounds good. Last but not least, we got Quisty, and she's going to be playing... The violin, the violin. Finish it off, Quistus. There it is. Everything matches up. Awesome. We're good. All good. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, I actually just missed something now that I think about it. I wonder if I can still do it now. Renoa, that's when you're up. You can count on me. It's going to be a blast. Okay, I actually missed something there. There's actually a little side thing I could have done when I was controlling Irvine, and I kind of forgot. It would have made us have to walk over to the Grease Monkey. Now, if I would have done it, I would have got me... What would have got me? I, would have, I could have got, like, a potion and some ammo. Or a Phoenix Down and some ammo, actually. It's not that big of a deal, I suppose. So, I'm not going to worry about it. But just know that there was a little side thing I could have done with Irvine there. I'm not going to worry about it. It's I've done enough side questing in Fisherman's Horizon for one year. I'm bored. What's everybody doing? I'm question, man. They left you all alone. You're the leader and you're a loner. Loners, leaders can't be loners. Oh, shit. It's that many dress. Ah, I can't resist it. Here he comes. Okay, he's all yours. Look at that dress. Man, I cannot resist. How you doing, baby? What's up? What's up? So what's up? Tired. You look so down. Come on, Squall. How old are you? You're still a teenager. Why don't you act like one for a change? I'm just tired. Okay, come on. Let's go to the concert. What? Uh, I'm not really in the mood. Uh, these, none of these answers matter. I don't know. Um, let's go with... I'm not in the mood. Sorry, I'm not in the mood. How come? I'd rather not talk about it. Quistus was right. You're so predictable. I don't care if you're playing Dungeons of the Endless Animus. Okay, I'm sorry. I can understand why you wouldn't be in the mood. You're probably still thinking about what the headmaster said today. He put a lot on your shoulders. It all happened so fast. So we thought it'd be good for you to come and unwind a little. Plus I have something important that I want to talk to you about. Who's we? Who else? Quistus, Selfie, Zell, Irvine, and of course, me! Come on, please? For me? There's no point if you don't show up. I guess so. No choice. Yes! Okay, let's go. Oh, she really wants the D from Squall. Seriously. That's why was she dressed in such a skimpy outfit? So she convinced you, eh? Was it the outfit? Looking good together. Mm-hmm. So, like, I found this place. It's perfect for you guys. Give me a break. It's by the stage. You can't miss it. I left an old magazine there. You can thank me later. Have fun. Just let it all out tonight, bruh. And Squall with another facepalm. This guy is sick. He's not sick, man. Don't be such a kid. Are you finished? I might be there later with a special someone too, you know. Let's guess who that special someone is. Come on, man. I'm about to make my move. What's up? Oh, well. And Renoa, Jeez, man, thanks a lot. What are we going to do? Just walk up on her and grab her ass? What the hell will you make your move? Going to cop a feel? That's not making a move. That's gropage. That's rape. Borderline rape. Molestation. Whatever. Sexual harassment. All right. 
Squall, you big stud. This is all for you. Congratulations. Enjoy the show. Renoa, don't let him get away. Whatever. Ready? A one, two, three! Prepare for awesome music. This song is actually pretty catchy. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. I'm down. B3 to change the view, huh? Yeah, if you press your square button, whatever you have to set to square, you can actually change the view of what you're seeing. Which is pretty cool. Nice little techno show. But the only thing we really have to do is actually go over here to the right side of the screen. And here must be the spot. He said he left a magazine here. This looks like the place he was talking about. Oh, a naughty magazine. God damn it, Irvine. I thought he was kidding. You wanted to talk about something, right? So let's sit side by side next to this magazine. What is it? Um, well, it's about your promotion. Things are going to get real tough for you, huh? I don't want to think about it. Squall, I'm sure there will be a lot of difficult things that you'll have to deal with from now on. We were talking about that and saying how you'll probably try to handle everything on your own. I probably will. <laughs> That's just what he does. Hey, hey, hey. Slow the camera view. Um, you almost got a crotch shot there. They know you too well. I do too, although I haven't been around you that long. You know, when you start thinking, you tend to frown like this. <laughs> nice one, Ronoa. He's gonna smack her and then she rolls out. Not in that dress. Unrealistic. Her dress would have flew over her head. I'm out of here. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. But really, we were all saying that, well... You can't handle everything on your own. Nice. So we shove you into oblivion and you die. Or not. That's it. Just let out anything. Anything. We want to talk. We want you to talk to us a little more. That's all. You know, if there's anything you want to tell us or anything we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. I know it's not easy, but I wish you could trust us and rely on us a little more. Dude, I always love this part of the game because it's like the part where his friends, you know, it makes you realize how good of friends they are. Like, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And then, like, the girl, Renoa, who's actually infatuated with them a little bit. It's like they all realize Squall's awesome, and they're, they, you know, they're, they're proving that they're his friends, and Squall just won't let them in, man. But this is the moment of truth right here. Am I that mistrusting? Maybe I'm this way because I'm scared. Nothing lasts in this world. It feels great to have friends who believe in you and adults you can rely on. That's why it's so dangerous, especially if you become used to it. Someday you're bound to lose everything. Everybody around you will be gone. Man, some of them been his past really scarred his mind. And what are you left with? Nothing. Nobody. It's so miserable. And it's inevitable. It's so hard to recover from something like that. I never ever want to deal with that again. I can't. Even if it means being alone. God damn. For the rest of my life. Dude, that is so depressing, Squall. Good lord. What a night. Great music. Good looking guy. Not only is he good looking, he's the sweetest guy. A great listener. Right now he's seriously thinking about what I said. He's shy and doesn't say anything. But I know. So what do you think? None of our business? I appreciate your concern, but... No buts. Just think about this. This might be the only time we'll all be together. So as long as we're together, we might as well enjoy each other's company and just talk, right? Just for now, huh? Forget it. I don't want friends who won't be around tomorrow. <laughs> Gosh, you're such a pessimist. There are no guarantees in the future. That's why today, the time we have now, is important. Squall, we want to help you as much as we can, for as long as we can. We all love you. There, I said it. Please don't freak out. We just want to live, you know? Live through this time with you, together. Together? Keep it in the back of your mind. Call on us whenever you need to. We'll be waiting. Damn, man, I love this entire speech. It's amazing. 
Like I said, who knows what's going to happen in the future, but I have a feeling we'll all be together for a while. So what's on your mind? Do you have any dreams, Squall? Anything you want to do with your life? I never really thought about it. That's something I'd rather not talk about. What about you? I don't know. I guess I'd rather not talk about the future either. But right now... I want to stay right here. Like this. I wish we could stay in this cave forever, Jon Snow. Oh, sorry, this isn't Game of Thrones? Oh, God, that speech that Renoa gives right there is amazing. And it really makes you realize how much, like, f like just the friend thing, man. The friend thing, because friends matter. I mean, it's really a fucking, like, cliche thing to say, but it's true, man. Just think about it. I mean, if you don't have friends like that, you're just a loner like Squall is. And Squall is just like, you can tell. He, he's in his mind all the time. He lives up there. And he just really wants to have somebody to love. And that's what these flashbacks symbolize right here. There's this sis right here that he keeps talking about. She must have left him out here in the rain by himself. And that's why he's all alone. And this is just pretty much, you're getting a little insight into why Squall feels like such a loner. And that, you know, when somebody leaves you. There's nothing you can do about it. So, like, this emotional time in his life when he was a kid scarred him for life, and now he doesn't want to be close to anyone anymore just because of something that happened to you when he was a kid. Proof that things that happened to you when you are a kid can traumatize you for your whole life. Anyway, he's all alone, and he's so sad. And he's doing his best. He's really doing his best. And he'll be okay without her. He really will, because he'll be able to take care of himself. Gah, it's so emotional, man. I'm not even lying, but... Like, talking about it out loud, even through this commentary, is making me, like, even emotional, just even just a little bit. Because, I mean, I really resonated with this game when I originally played it. So, reliving it kind of, and, like, going through the dialogue out loud and reading it, and kind of feeling how powerful it is as I feel it emotionally. I'm glad I'm reading it out loud, because, seriously, it just wouldn't hold as much weight if I just let you guys have to read it, and I just skipped on through it. And I'm just like, I'm feeling all the emotions of this game right now, and I fucking love it. I love this fucking game so much. Like, things like that is the reason why this is my favorite in the series. Sure, I know it's not the best. I mean, we'll get we'll get to that in a lot, you know, later at a later date. But I understand that it's not the best Final Fantasy game, but it's my favorite. And like, you know, all those emotional moments, especially for Squall, things I can relate to, being loner and all that kind of stuff. Not letting people in for your emotions and all that kind of thing. And then and then there's the little things about this game that I love, like the cards. The card game is my favorite mini game in any game, and the junction system is amazing. I mean, there's just all sorts of things I love about this game. Greetings, Commander. Don't call me that. We thought you should have a little a title, so Quistus and I decided on Commander. Sorry to carry things out on our own, but Sue and I assigned duties. Okay. I'll take care of all the supplies needed in the garden. And I'll ta help take care of the students with Dr. Katawaki. You can just focus on our destination and battle plans. And, uh, will you let Selfie rest a while? I think she's exhausted from the missile base mission. She could use some rest. How does that sound to you? Fine. Alright, I have some reports for you already. And what are those? Hey, Squall! By the way, you know the FH technicians were fixing the garden, right? They just finished, meaning the garden's ready to go anytime. Oh yeah, I'll be piloting the garden. FH technicians taught me everything about piloting this thing. Let me know when you want to go. Any suggestions on where to go? Hey, why don't we go back to Balam? We don't know what's happened since we left. Besides, Balam may be their own next target. It's a harbor town just like FH. You're right, Squall, what do you think? Sounds good to me. Now, I told you Nita was going to be important later. If we found the part of the game where he's important, he is now our freaking pilot for the ship. So, I think to get the ball rolling on this whole uh, CC card group quest thingy, which I want to do right now, actually, we should go. I think if we should leave first for a second. Um, yeah, I'll direct you to the destination and announce the departure. Roger. Now, is this the part where he does like a big speech? May I have your attention, please? This is the bridge. Is Squall going to give his speech right now? I think he is. Guard will be leaving F.A. shortly. Please, please prepare for departure. I will now hand the mic over to our leader, Squall. Here we go. Better make it good, Squall. A speech? Forget it. Cut the mic. And then Renault is laughing at him. 
Good stuff. Oh, he did, oh, he's not going to do a speech. Fine. Anyway, every time you depart on the garden, you're faced with the choice of who you want to use in your party. I think we're going to go Quistus, Zell, and Squall for right now. Anyway, this is going to teach us how to drive the garden. We're not actually going to go anywhere in the garden, but just know that now the game has just opened up, guys. The whole entire world is at our disposal. Well, not the entire world, but most of the world is now at our disposal now that we have a vehicle. But before we do anything, let's go back inside the garden. Go back inside the garden. All you got to do is go to your menu when you're in the garden. So, easy enough. So, anywho... Let's see if we can get the rest of this card quest go going so we can get it done with. First person we gotta go play is the doctor, so hopefully she'll be ready to play now. Because we won't be able to play the next person until we play her, so we gotta get that out of the way. How we activate playing her, I don't know. I thought all we had to do was beat the other bitches, which we did already. So I hope all we gotta do is go talk to her now. And if that's not the case, I may have to just postpone doing the rest of this card quest till the next episode. If I can't play her right now, I'll just do some seed tests or something. Let's see what she says. What is it? Are you injured again? No. You know, some rules are unknown to this region. Okay. What? You want to play a card game? Yeah. Uh, okay. We're playing with FH's rules. That's fine. I'm more concerned with the fact that she didn't say anything about being the card king. I might have to do something to make sure that she becomes the card. There's something that we have to do. What is it that we have to do? I'm not entirely certain what it is we have to do to activate her being the card king. Maybe we have to do something? Talk to somebody? Huh. I might have to figure it out in between episodes because I really don't want to have to save this quest for later. Because if you save the card, this card quest stuff for later, then you risk the chance of messing it up and not being able to do the whole thing at all. I don't care if the sudden death rule's here. The sudden death rule is not scary to me. Um, let's talk to her again real quick. She really not going to tell us anything. Okay. Well, screw it then. We'll figure it out in between episodes, and I'll play her in the next one, I suppose. So, let's do a couple of these seed tests real fast, because, honestly, it's been a while, and I really want to finish doing these. We're at... What level are we overall level? We're at 26, so we can do... We can do three tests. Let's go ahead and do it. Hold on one second. Oh, shit. I just moved my screen. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. Um, let's do it. I'm going to have to, like, adjust my fucking <laughs> editing now. That's great. All right. So, use Asuna to cure slow. What? No, wait. What test are we on? 24? Let me get lined up here. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that works. Setting float to element defense. J raises his defense against earth elemental. I think that's actually true. And it is. The ATB runs even if GF is appearing? No, that's not true. And auto reflect, cast reflect as long as you don't fall under KO? I think that's. Huh. I think auto reflect only starts at the beginning and then when it, when it wears off, it goes away? Something like that? That signifies a GF ability? I guess it does. I honestly don't know. There are a limited number of abilities GF can learn. Yes, there's, they can only fill up two pages of abilities. Protect keeps reducing damage with each use. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Is that true? No, it's not. It only does half. It only protects you from half, and that's it. You get poison along with HP. Wait, you get poison along with HP when using drain against a poison target? Uh, that doesn't sound right. A weapon can break after multiple battles? No. If you are silenced while you are afflicted with confuse, you cannot use magic. I believe that's true. No matter what, when you're silenced, no magic. Sweet. All right, we can do two more of these and then we'll be done. You can mug a laser cannon from an enemy called Elastoid. Actually, I believe that is how you get the laser cannon. GF Gyarados' skill Tsunami causes a forest fire. That doesn't even make any sense. Why would the freaking Tsunami cause a forest fire? Use Amnesia Greens to make a GF forget about an ability. I think it's called Amnesia Greens. I think that's right. I know it's amnesia something. There is an ability to use C save points and draw points you can't usually see. Yes, there is. And I believe it's called move find. It's the ability that Siren can learn, or Ava as I called her. GF gains more experience if only one GF is junction to a party member. Uh, is that true? Question five? Yeah, I guess it is true. That's interesting. I honestly didn't know that. It is good to return to Blam Garden once in a while to collect your seed salary. No, because you get it randomly. It has nothing to do with Blam Garden. 
The magic Waterra and Waterga are more powerful than the magic water. I don't even think Waterra and Waterga exist in this game. I'm pretty sure they don't, in fact. Counter doesn't react to attacks with effect, which affect all party members. Uh, yeah, that's true. GF can learn an ability to succeed in every mug by using an item called Bandit's Hand. Is that true? No, it's not. You can draw magic that causes curse. Uh, I don't think so. I think curse is only inflicted by something else. Oh, our seed rank is as high as it goes? Well, then we won't take any more tests. We're already seed rank A, guys. Holy crap, and I didn't even finish taking all the seed tests. Well, then in that case, I'll save the rest of the seed tests for if and when my seed level goes down. It's very possible that I'll dilly-dally long enough for my seed level to go down, in which case we'll do a seed test to get it back up to the highest level. There's no reason to waste it right now, though, because there's a chance my seed level will go down for whatever reason. In fact, it just went down right now. Son of a bitch. Well, then let's do another seed mission, or seed test. Why not? I was just like, I won't, but now I guess I will. Can we do one more? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and max it out. All right. Using drain on an undead damage uh, undead damage is you. Uh, yes, I think that's true. The character ability initiative enables you to begin battle with a full ATP gauge even when you are back attacked. I believe this is also true. Initiative is nice. Command ability dark side inflicts darkness on a target when you make a physical attack. Is that true? No, it's something else, I guess. Holy is the only holy elemental magic. That is true. There is no other holy magic, unless you count cure, but I don't think cure magic counts. Even GFs that are not junctioned gain experience in AP. Actually, this is not true. I'm pretty sure that if you don't have a junction, you don't get shit. Shell reduces the effectiveness of recovery magic by half. This is true. That's what you have to be wary of when you have shell. With a high evade stat, you sometimes evade attacks even when under sleep. Nope, when you're asleep, you're more vulnerable. You could make GF forget an ability. Yes, you can. Amnesia Greens, we discussed this already. Doom continues counting down in the field even after you run from battle. Nope. Status effects go away when you run. Well, most of them do. Doom is one of them. Attack magic is more effective if your strength rather than ma No, that's magic is better with magic stat. Simple as that. All right, we're back up to A. We actually can't take any more tests because we're not level higher than level 26, so we've done as much as we can. And so, from here on, we will move on with our lives. And in the next episode, I'll figure out what to do with the card quest stuff real fast, and then we'll do that. And after that, it's time to start exploring this wide world of ours. What will we start with? Well, I haven't exactly decided what's the best way to start this off, but we're definitely going to be doing a lot of things before we move on with the rest of what is Disc 2. Because we're actually not too far away from the end of Disc 2 if we just go on with the rest of the story. There's like three main things left to do, and then boom, Disc 2. Or Disc 2 is over. But now that we have free reign of the world, we got so much side shit we can do, we're probably going to spend an extra five, six, seven episodes doing side shit. So strap on for that. Don't worry, the side shit's worth watching. It's not like you, could, you should just skip the next seven episodes. The side stuff's fun, and, it, and it's worth it too, trust me. There's GFs involved, just saying that. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace.